there right now. He's going to be a perennial MVP candidate. What? He's easily a top five player? I don't think even Shannon Sharp would I go, go that far. I, I ain't ready to go there. I ain't ready yeah. to go there. I, I, I love Jeff, and, and I think he and Mark Jackson and Mike Bream do an unbelievable job. But I'm not I mean, ready no, to No, you don't listen to the sound. I, but, I, I, but I have, I have heard them. You have heard I, them? I have heard them. Or maybe somebody tweeted to you. They no, 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 no. Nobody, nobody tweeted. Uh, Steve was talking to me last night oh. about this. Uh, I'm not ready to go there, Skip. It's only one year. I mean, yeah, he's rookie of the year. I need to... See, for me... I need to put, see people string together some seasons before I'm, I'm ready to jump, make the, that conclusion. Now, do I believe he's a superstar after what I've seen after his rookie year and what I've seen after this year, after two years? Yes, I believe that. But to say he's top five? Nah, I'm not going there yet. Not there. No. Nope. You just, about two minutes ago, you predicted next year he'll average a triple. Yeah, level, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you think he's on the verge? Of oh, oh absolutely on so, the verge. So what is he, like seven? Yeah, he, yeah. I, I believe he, he's close to top ten. I'm not taking him in front of James Harden. I'm not taking him in front of LeBron. I'm not taking him in front of Giannis. I's. I'm not taking him in front of Kawhi, Kevin Durant. There are a the couple of guys I'm not taking him in front of mm. at this current time. Mm. But he's coming, Skip. He's, mm. There's no doubt about it. He's mm. coming. It is ludicrous to even talk about Luka Doncic in the top five. And I also love Jeff Van Gundy. <laughs> I, I, I hang on his every word. Mm -hmm. He entertains me and he enlightens yeah. <laughs> me every time I turn on my television right. and listen to him. Right. But on, in this case, this is way too soon. It's, is he in the rock star top five of the NBA? Yeah, I'll give you that because he's come like, become like a rock star. It's right. like he's already legendary somehow. He, I, I'll give him this. He's becoming, for sometimes wrong and right reasons, must-see TV. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw out the stats one last time because this can be the last time we're going to talk about him probably until next year. During the regular season, he shot 31.6% from three. That is so bad, it was almost at the bottom of qualified three-point shooters. It was 140th of 147 qualified yeah. three-point shooters. From the free throw line during the regular season, he shot 75.8%. That ranked 85th of 118. And that actually went down during the playoff yeah. series. Yeah. During the six games, mm -hmm. he made 67.8%, which ranked 48th of 52 free throw shooters during the playoffs. Skip, let's just say for the sake of argument, and I believe he can increase this, let's just say he becomes a career 35, 36% three-point shooter. That's an extra three points a game. I've been saying that about LeBron. I got to bring it up again. For years, he, he has left thousands of points on the table because he's He's a lousy free throw shooter. Right. LeBron is. He's below seventy. You can't be. He's so you, good. so you, so you want the guy to have everything. So I, I you just, want. So you. They're, they're called free throws so, for a reason. So be, there's no law that you can't go stand and practice free throws from 15 feet away unguarded well, all off season well, if that's until the case, you figure out how to make it. Well, 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 why didn't Michael Jordan shoot the three ball like Steph Curry? That, it wasn't emphasized. Yeah, but it was in the, in the game. It, it was no. It was yeah. It was like almost, if, it was if, considered a circus part of it. There was no circus. Yep. No, 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 there no circus. Skip, so you expect Luca to be able to shoot the three ball, I mean, shoot free throws like like Larry Bird or Steph Curry, shoot the three ball like Clay Thompson, and still be able to get to the rim like James Harden and, Le and LeBron? He should be able to make... 38% of his threes, and he should make yeah. at least 80, if not 85% of his free throws. That's easy, more easily achieved than the three-point shot. I'm saying he can, I believe he can consistently shoot 35, 36. 35, 36% above 31, that's an extra three points a game. Now, if he does what you say, get to 80, 85, Skip, the guy's going to average almost okay. 35, 40 points a game. He'd be able to do it. There's no law against practicing free throws. Yeah, Skip. Okay. But Skip, they're not going to... So, in other words, just imagine if Tom Brady had Michael Vick's leg, had Patrick Mahomes. He doesn't need it. Oh, okay, then. He doesn't he, need he it. He doesn't Tom need Brady's it. He's won six Super Bowls Skip, out of nine. Skip. No, but I don't care. I don't care how. No, he didn't. cares? No, he first of all, first he, of all. He's simply no, the no, 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 He doesn't need no, no, it. No, 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 no. Stop saying he won six out of nine. Tom Brady's been in the league 20 years. So, the other 11 years, he didn't get to the Super Bowl. So, stop saying that. Do you know how many AFC championship games he went to? It's, I don't care if he went to 15. It's staggering. He, he has ended the GOAT. Did he go every year? Football. Did he go every year? It's silly. Did he go every year? Is he the greatest quarterback ever? Is he? That's all I want to know. Greatest quarterback. Skip. Yes. Skip. Over. Skip, all I'm saying 
is that you're not going to have everything. Okay, I, I got it. But in this case, he has missed the most free throws yes. in the playoffs so far, 22 misses. He also has the most turnovers in all the playoffs, but I'm going to give him that. He's got 31 turnovers, but his high, his yeah. usage rate is just one percentage point off Donovan Mitchell. Yes. So he's got the ball in his hands a lot. It's like LeBron. He's going to have Yeah, and he play, he's playing 40-plus minutes okay. a game. Now, let's, let's look at top five players. Who's in my top five? I'll give your guy LeBron top five. He's still playing at a very high oh, level. Oh, you give it to him. And, and I'll, I'll give your other guy AD. Sometimes he's all done in the fourth quarter, but the other night right. he wasn't. So I was impressed. So he's still hanging right in my top <laughs> Five. Then there's this guy, out of sight, out of mind. His name is Kevin Durant. Yes. All he did was win back-to-back -back finals MVPs. Yes. And all he is is the best player on the planet. He's in my top five. That guy, Giannis, he's about to win MVP as well as Defensive Player of the Year. Yes. I think that qualifies for top five. And all you got to do, I just I opened the show by telling you, Kawhi Leonard is showing you top five goods right now. Yeah. He's showing you on both ends of the floor when he needs to top five ability and take. So, what well, you got, James Harden? Okay, I got James Harden. Thank you for bringing it up. I got him <laughs> number six. But in in my second five, I got Steph and Kyrie. And, and do not do not write off Joel Embiid. He's still a no, no, nuclear no, 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 no. weapon. No. Undisputed live from Los Angeles. I'm Alex Curry here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Good morning, guys. How are we doing this fine Monday? Good morning. We're good. We're good. 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 What LA is Kawhi Town now, isn't it? Have you seen what Kawhi Leonard's been doing? He's taken over the NBA playoffs. I'm not even sure if the Lakers should even go on playing. They should just call it a year. I mean, you didn't see that virtuoso the other night, huh? Against Portland? Oh, against oh, man Portland? Oh, They're against, against, against man Dallas? Oh, against one man yeah. Dallas? Yeah. yeah. That's some man, though, right? Yeah. Let's oh, talk about, oh, he's some man let's talk now. About that man. Uh, yes, let's get started with yesterday's Clippers Mavs game because late in the first quarter, Marcus Morris came down hard on Luka Doncic as the Mavs forward drove to the basket, making contact with his head and causing him to go to the floor. Morris was given a flagrant two foul and ejected. The Clippers would end up winning the game and series. But after the game, Luka said, quote, it's two games in a row he did something like that. And I really hope the first game, it wasn't on purpose. But looking back on the foul this game, you know what I think. So Shannon, what is your view on how this play unfolded? Well, he got what he deserved. He should have been ejected. Um, I'm not surprised. I would have been surprised had they not ejected him from the ball game. It was a cheap shot, Skip. And I think given his history over through t the totality of his career, Skip, no one, he's no longer going to receive the benefit of the doubt. And Skip, I, I don't know if people realize this, but officials watch, watch game film also. And what they've seen from game one, it was who, Skip? Marcus Morris and Luka Doncic got into it, which led to Christoph Przingis being ejected. And then we see the game before this game that he, I believe he deliberately stepped on Luka's ankle. And I believe Scott Foster, who is the lead official in this game, when they're watching tape, they see an escalation. What transpired, Skip, is that Luka is a young player. And what you do, you start by talking and see if I can get him out of his game. Let me talk. Chirp, 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 chirp. And as you mentioned, Skip, remember he was backing up the court and he was like, oh, y'all do it all that talking. And I'm Patrick, <laughs> Yeah, but and I'm steady busting you guys up. So once they figure talking couldn't get Luca out of his game, what do we have to do, Skip? We got to ratchet it up the physicality of the ball game. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, Marcus Morris allowed the, uh, the, the physicality to go overboard. Skip, I get it. I understand you try to make a play on the ball. But that that after that, he raked the man across his face. And they said, you know what? Before we go any further, let's just go ahead and nip this in the bud. And we're going to remove Marcus Morris from the game. But I need former players. And we do that a lot, Skip, in our game of football. Oh, back in my day. Skip, you know, back in my day, the movie was $3. Gas was $1.44. Well, you're not back in your day anymore. The NBA is not going to allow this to happen. Just like the NFL is not going to allow these kinds of hits to happen. So I'm not surprised by this. Um, Luca, at some point in time, Luca's like, I got to stand up for myself. Mm. Boban did a good job of, uh, of corralling him and, and because at the end of the day, Skip, 
Marcus Mars being ejected is not the equivalent of Luka Doncic being ejected. And I think uh, great players and smart players, superstar players have to understand that. They're willing to do a one-off. That's not Kawhi and Luka being ejected. That's Marcus Mars, who's probably the third or fourth best player on their team, getting ejected for the unquestioned leader, the best player on the Mavericks team. So I'm not surprised that Marcus Mars was suspended, was ejected for flagrant two, given his history, what has transpired in this series, and I think it was a just call. I think it was right, and uh, they did the right thing by ejecting it. Mm. So I, as usual, saw that play a little differently than you did because I see Luka Doncic a little differently, if not a lot differently, than you see him. The more I watch him, the more I believe that Luka Doncic is actually a wolf in sheep's clothing. We know he wears sheep's clothing. He's got that, golly gee, nice guy. I love everybody. Why do they hate me? He does. That He's 21. He don't even know any better. Okay. I, I don't know. What, what does he hate about me? I didn't do anything wrong he to him. He didn't. Beneath that is a high IQ, crafty, former longtime European professional basketball player. He's been a pro since he was 15. He knows all the tricks in the book, and he brought them all to the States to play in the NBA. And I admire him for all the...